you like to combine a comfortable rest with sporting activities? If so, you should visit the Zhashkiv Equestrian Complex. The complex specializes in breeding, cultivation and training of horses. Everyone can get a positive energy and a feeling of internal harmony communicating with noble, graceful animals. This kind of journey is for all equestrian sport lovers who want to bring something new and unusual into their lives. Everything is serious here. That's why in Zhashkiv Equestrian Complex competitions in horse riding of national and European levels are held. visited this unique place, you will probably have a desire to come back here over and over again. A tour of the complex would be such a wondrous gift both for yourself and someone special. In addition, it is a wonderful place to spend time during off-season cold days, engaging in recreational activities such as bowling and horse riding. The recreational institution is located not far from Uman, 60 kilometers away, so anyone can easily get there. The village of Buke is located not far from an urban-type settlement Mankivka. Among other settlements, it stands out for its unique, extremely beautiful landscape. It looks like it is spread out all over the mountains, where the picturesque river of Hirski Tikic flows downwards at their bottom. There is nothing surprising that the territory of the Mankiv district is mostly flat. Granite Canyon creates a fabulous landscape of picturesque cascades and waterfalls. From one side they resemble the Norway fjords, while from the other side they look like the famous American prairies. The canyon walls are covered with grey granite rocky ledges reaching a height of 30 meters. The canyon itself is located at 100 meters below the dam of the Old Buke Hydroelectric Power Station. Its length is more than 2.5 kilometers and its width is 80 meters. If you want to practice meditation, go to the ancient temple. Don't forget to make a wish here. Besides, on the right bank of a raging river, you will have a delicious lunch consisting of freshly cooked fish soup of Kozak Kulish. Here you can do some outdoor activities, enjoy the fresh air and bird singing. The canyon is also a perfect place for rock climbing and kayaking. All you need to have to go traveling with us is a pair of walking shoes and an excellent mood. Have you ever seen windmills? No? Then let's go to the Vodyanike village, Cherkasy region. The wooden windmills here are very similar to the old ones located in the Dutch village of Kinderdijk. There are three windmills located on the hill behind the Holy Ascension Church. This church is the closest copy of the Cossack church of the 18th century. Carved iconostasis made in the style of Ukrainian Baroque has no gliding at all, which also corresponds to that period of time. The simplicity of decoration is complemented by ancient icons painted on wooden boards.
The name of Taras Shevchenko is known to each resident of Ukraine since childhood. However, not everyone was in places where a small Taras was born, where he took his first steps, made his first drawings, where he spent his childhood. Let's visit these places. Shevchenkovo, Morenci, Budishche, the most sacred villages of Cherkasy region for each Ukrainian. The National Reserve homeland of Taras Shevchenko was founded here. It includes the Literary Memorial House Museum of Taras Shevchenko in the village of Shevchenkovo, the memorial in the village of Morenci, and the Vilshani History Museum. A cherry orchard by the house. It describes a house in the village of Morenci, where Taras was born on the 9th of March 1814 in the family of Hrihori and Katerina Shevchenko. Here you can visit the peasant house of Yakim Boyko, Taras Shevchenko's grandfather, an outdoor painter, smithy, and a copy of the peasant house where little Taras's parents lived. In the center of the reserve, there is the former estate of Taras's parents in the village of Shevchenkovo. Today, the peasant house still keeps things from that time. Here, everything is filled with love and respect to a great kabzar. You can step inside halls of the unique museum, visit graves of Shevchenko's parents and look at the deacon's hut. In the village of Budishche, there was the estate of the landowner Engelgard. This is the place where Taras served as a houseboy of a landlord. In the old garden, there is still a majestic oak tree. According to the legend, Taras hid his drawings in its hollow. You will also be surprised by a Dutch-style windmill. Don't forget to take a keepsake photo. As stated in his will, the poet found his eternal rest in Kaniv on Chernecha Hora, which is now called Tarasova Hora. All Shevchenko places became a spiritual symbol of Ukrainian people. They belong to historical monuments of national significance. The territorial center of Ukraine, which is the homeland of Ukrainian genius, is also the place where you can feel the power of Ukrainian land. This is where the heart of Ukraine beats. The monument symbolically unites all regions of our country. A special feature of the architectural composition is a strip with authentic embroidery of all Ukraine's regions, which transmits the genetic code of each of them. The largest in Cherkasy region national flag is flattering next to the art object. The height of the flagpole is 52 meters, the size of the flag is 9 by 13 meters.
The heart of Ukraine is a symbol of our country's spirit and development. White steel wings are a combination of purity and strength of our homeland. Since ancient times, wings are considered to be a symbol of victory, overcoming obstacles and reaching the highest level of being. Come and listen to our country's heart. Traveling further to the Shuvalov Palace, we are going back to the 18th-19th centuries when this territory belonged to the Pototsky family. The members of the family built both the magnificent Sofievsky Park in Umain and the unique palace in Telne. The castle was inherited by Olga Stanislavovna Pototska Nareshkina and then passed to her daughter Sofia, wife of the Count Shuvalov. The castle has three towers, one of which is a semi-tower with a balcony decorated with the Shuvalov coat of arms. The romantic roofs are covered with tiles. The weather vane turns round in the wind. The walls are decorated with stucco. The entrance is Renaissance luxurious. Cherkasa region, you should visit the state historical and cultural reserve Tripilian culture. No one will remain indifferent to the findings of archaeologists which are collected in its exhibition halls. It is a place where you can visit the excavations of the world's largest Tripilian culture settlement dating to around 4000-6000 BC. You will listen to interesting stories about ancient times. Moreover, you will be able to see artifacts firsthand. In addition, there will be a great opportunity to visit the local open-air Skansen Museum and watch fragments of the film Black Cossack, which was shot here. The State Historical and Cultural Reserve Tripilian Culture is located on the territory of discovered Tripilian settlement Talianki. It has an area of more than 450 hectares. According to a geomagnetic survey, there were from 1,500 up to 28,000 Tripilian buildings here. Now the reserve includes 11 giant Tripilian culture settlements, which are located on the territory of Umain, Telne and Svenihorod regions. The total area of settlements is more than 2,000 hectares. At a certain point in time, all settlements were fenced with ramparts. Presumably, they occupied large areas and were densely populated. The population was engaged in agriculture, which was highly developed. Modern archaeologists are very interested in discovering Tripilla, because it is one of the oldest centers of human civilization. In the village of Lehadzene, there is a reserve museum of Tripilian culture dedicated to ancient megacities. The main feature of the museum is the life-size reconstructed two-story Tripilian dwelling filled with Tripilian dishes, sacred things, household items and working tools. The museum exhibits dishes and their fragments, bone and stone tools, clay animal and human figurines dating back to more than 5000 BC, arrowheads.
to love your native region, you need to know about it as much as possible. So, travel, enjoy and respect Ukraine.